In this video, we're going to talk about how to install TouchFX Designer and the STM32 Cube software environment necessary to develop nice GUIs on STM32 microcontrollers. Bonjour à tous, my name is Alexander and I am a marketing engineer for graphics based in Seoul, South Korea. Here are the steps we need to follow to be able to make a GUI from a clean computer. We first need to download a few pieces of software, then install everything. Once that is done, we can add a specific package to CubeMX and then start the GUI creation using TouchFX Designer. Open your favorite browser and go to st.com website. Once we're on the ST website, in order to download the software, we need to sign in with our MyST account. On this page, you see on the left the part where you can sign in, and on the right part, you can create your own account if you don't have already one. So if you don't have an account already, please sign up before proceeding to the software download. Now that we are connected, we need to download four pieces of software. First, we need to download CubeMX to set up and generate code for our MCU. You need to take the STM32 CubeMX and not the STM8 CubeMX because we are working on STM32 MCUs. So you scroll down the page and go all the way to the Get Software part. Right now, the web page is uh, taking time to load, so we need to wait for a few seconds. As I'm using a Windows laptop, I will download the CubeMX Windows software. Now let's download CubeIDE, which is a software enabling you to compile and debug your code on target. So once again, you go down to the bottom of the page and look for the Get Software part. We now click on the Windows software since we have a Windows computer. And now we can move on to Cube Programmer, which is the software enabling you to download your code to your board. So once again, in the search bar, we type Cube Programmer. And we we'll look for the STM32 Cube Programmer. We go down to the bottom of the web page and look for the Get software. Again, I have a 64 bit Windows laptop, so I will click on this. And finally, we need our final piece of software, which is TouchJFX, which will enable you to create your GUI. Here you can either click on TouchJFX Designer or Xcube TouchJFX. Both will lead to the same TouchFX package. But uh, in this case, I will uh, click on the Xcube TouchFX. Now again, you go down to the bottom of the page looking for the Get software. And here you click on Get Latest to have the latest version of the TouchFX software. We have our four pieces of software on our computer. And now we have to unzip each one and launch the installation procedure. If you need several versions of CubeMX, which can happen depending on the amount of projects you're creating, Sometimes I recommend to add a number, which is the number of version, to differentiate each uh, version you have of CubeMX. So here we have 6.9.2. This can be an earlier version or a later version. This will not change. So CubeMX installation is done, now we can move on to the next software.
for Cube Programmer, uh, I will leave it as it is because if you change the name of the folder, TouchGFX will not be able to uh, look for it correctly. So I highly recommend you to leave the installation path as it is. The programmer is now installed. Let's move on again to a new piece of software. And now for our final installation, we need to install TouchJFX. So you go to Utilities folder, PC software, and TouchFX Designer. You will see an MSI uh, file, and this will install TouchFX Designer. Then after this, we will install the package inside CubeMX. Once TouchFX is fully installed, you can click on Finish, and this will automatically launch the TouchFX Designer. Here you can choose the color theme, whether light or dark. Personally, I prefer the dark theme, so I will go for this. Let's install the CubeMX package uh, directly inside CubeMX. To do so, Go back to your desktop and double click on the STM32 CubeMX shortcut. Now you should see this current interface and to install the TouchFX package, also known as Xcube TouchFX, you have two options. First one is to sign up on your MyST account and download the package directly from the available options. The second option is to import the package from your computer and since you already downloaded the package, this option is faster. Nevertheless, let's connect to our account first. When the authentication is successful, you should see this pop-up window as well as your name at the top of the interface. So now we can go to the install remove part to check TouchJFX. So if we look at, you have different uh, apps, including stm 32 cube MCU packages and STM Microelectronics. For the MCU packages, it will be dedicated to the MCU families, such as C0, F0, F1, U5, and so on and so forth. Here we are looking for TouchGFX, so we have to go to the ST Microelectronics tab. Here you also have a bunch of software that you can download. Uh, they are also known as uh, packages and you are looking for the Xcube TouchFX. We have it at the bottom, and here you will see different versions, the latest one being 4.22.1. So you have, you have this option, which is you click here, you click on the Install button, and this will download the package and install it automatically. This is one option. But I would like also to show you the second option, which is uh, installing the software based on a file that is on your computer. So you see here, instead of going on install, you click on from local. In this case, we go to our download folder and we click on the zip file. So this Xcube TouchGFX zip file, not the folder, we need the zip file, the one that you downloaded directly from the st.com website. Now CubeMX checks if the package is correct, and if it's correct, you will see the license agreement uh, pop-up window. You agree, of course, and continue the installation. 
this is faster because you don't have the download. So the only thing that it has to do is unzip and copy the whole uh, folder inside the Cubemix folder. So now it's or already installed. You have now installed everything and opened TouchFE Designer. So you are now ready to make your first application. In the next video, we will see how you can use basic functions of the designer to make a simple GUI without the need to write code by yourself. For this, please refer to the link in the description of this video. See you next time.